Hey, I'm Chloe, and today I'm going to show you how to make iced apple cake squares. These are perfect for Thanksgiving, super easy to make, and no one will know that they're vegan. So the first step is whisking together the dry ingredients. I have two cups of flour here, and I'm going to add um, one and a quarter cup sugar, and season it with some cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of sea salt. So I'm going to give that a nice whisk to make sure that everything's incorporated and comes together. So that's our dry ingredients. Moving on to our wet ingredients. Um, I have a cup of vegetable oil. You could use any mild oil like a coconut oil, a grapeseed oil, whatever you've got on hand. A quarter cup of water. A tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Using vinegar in baking cakes is my little secret for making vegan cakes really moist and fluffy. Instead of using eggs, the baking soda will react with the vinegar and it causes a chemical reaction that binds the cake together and makes it really moist and um, makes it rise so that you don't need eggs. So whenever I tell people that vinegar is my secret ingredient, it sounds disgusting, like why would you want vinegar in your cake? Um, but the vinegar flavor bakes off and it's just the chemical that causes the reaction to hold the cake together. So now I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients into the dry. and whisk it all together. And you'll already start to smell that great apple cinnamon aroma. And this is a really thick batter because it's more of a dense like cake square um, than a fluffy cake. So don't be alarmed if your batter is on the thick side. So I have three apples finely chopped. And we're gonna pour the apples into the batter. And I like to add chopped walnuts. You can use any nut that you like. Then I'm gonna mix it together. And like I said, the batter's on the thick side. So just make sure that you use a spatula and get it nice and incorporated. So next I'm gonna pour the batter into the pan. The batter is a little bit thick, so sometimes I actually just like to pat it in to make sure that it's evenly pressed into the pan. So this is a really chunky batter, but it's gonna be delicious. Once the apples cook, they're gonna release all of their liquids. Um, so it's gonna be a really moist, delicious cake. All right, smells good. We're gonna stick this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, so the cake's out of the oven. It smells delicious. I'm gonna do a very simple icing made out of powdered sugar and almond milk and just drizzle it right over the top. You can really just have fun here. It does not have to be neat. It's a very rustic dessert, and there's no way to mess it up. And then I like to cut it and serve it into squares. So I'm just gonna score it, and you really can cut whatever size you wanna serve. And there you have it, delicious vegan iced apple cake squares. Now I get to dig in. Happy Thanksgiving.